Hi everyone. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to display interactive maps in React using Mapbox. I'll guide you through the setup process step by step. Let's get started. First, open your Vite React project in Visual Studio Code. Next, open a new terminal in VS Code by selecting Terminal New Terminal. Then, run the project with npm run dev and hit enter. Your app will start running in the browser. Now, open another new terminal in VS Code. In the terminal, install mapbox.gl by running the command npm install mapbox.gl. This will add mapbox to your project. Next, let's create a.env.local file in the root of your project. In this file, you'll store your mapbox access token. Add the following line. Make sure to replace the text your mapbox token here with your actual mapbox token. Now, let's create a new file called map.jsx in the components folder. If you haven't already created the components folder inside src directory, do that first. Then, inside the components folder, create the map.jsx file. This file will contain the code to display the mapbox map. Now start by importing the necessary hooks from React. Import mapbox.gl by adding the following line below your previous imports. Now, set your mapbox access token by adding this line in the map.jsx file. This will configure mapbox to use the token stored in your .env.local file. Next, we'll create our map component. We do this with export default function map. This sets up our map functionality that we'll build on next. Next, we'll create a reference for our map. This useRef hook allows us to directly access the DOM element where the map will be rendered. By initializing it to null, we can later assign the map container to this reference, making it easier to manipulate the map directly. Now, we'll use the useEffect hook to initialize our map. This hook runs after the component mounts, ensuring that the map is set up correctly. We create a new Mapbox map instance and link it to our map container using mapref.current. Center property sets the initial geographical coordinates for the map, and the zoom level controls how close the view is. This setup allows us to display the map exactly where we want it. At the end of the use effect, we include a cleanup function that calls map.remove. This ensures that when the component unmounts, the map instance is properly removed from the DOM, preventing memory leaks. This cleanup is crucial for maintaining performance, especially if the component is used multiple times or if the user navigates away from it. Finally, the empty array tells React to run this effect only once when the component mounts, preventing unnecessary reinitialization. Finally, we return a div element that serves as the container for our map. We use the ref attribute to link this div to our map ref, allowing Mapbox to render the map inside it. We also set the style property to define the width and height of the map. In this case, we set the width to 100% to make it responsive and the height to 500px to give it a fixed height. This ensures that our map is displayed correctly on the page. Now, let's move to the app.jsx file and clean up any unnecessary boilerplate code. We want to keep our code base tidy and focused on what we need for our map. Now, let's call our map component in the app.jsx file. We'll import it at the top of the file, and one handy feature in Visual Studio Code is that it can automatically import components for you. When you type the name of the map component, VS Code will often suggest the import statement. You can simply select the suggestion, and it will add the import at the top of your file, saving you time and keeping your code organized. Next, we need to open the terminal to run our Vite development server. You can do this by navigating to your project directory and typing npm run dev. This command will start the server and allow us to see our map in action in the browser. Now that our Vite development server is running, here we are in the browser, and we can see our Mapbox map displayed. It's interactive, allowing us to pan and zoom. This is a fantastic starting point, and you can customize it further with different styles and features for Mapbox. Thanks for following along with this tutorial. We've successfully set up a Mapbox map in our Vite React project. 
Feel free to explore and customize the map further with different styles and features. Thanks for watching.